Hello cadets and welcome to another tutorial video for Allegiance. Uh, my name is Southpaw. Today we're going to be talking about the user interface in the game. Um, this is going to help you guys um, get a little bit situated both inside the hangar and when you're out in the sector. So without further ado, let's jump right into it here. So here we are inside the hangar. This is the screen you're going to see every time that you're docked in a base. And you've got a range of different um, screens, information screens that you can get out here, either by clicking on the areas of the screen that I'm mousing over, or using the keyboard shortcuts. So let's talk about the first of those. If you hit F1, or click up here, you're going to bring up the help screen. The dev team has recently redone the help screen um, in line with a new key map. Uh, and you can see that here in addition to some extra information, some of which we're going to talk around. There are also some helpful links up here to the wiki and the Discord channel. Uh, I recommend you take a good long look at this, familiarize with yourself with it, uh, and then proceed to remapping what you need so it's a little bit more comfortable. To remap your keys either in game or out, you can hit escape, bring up the game menu, and move down to keys and controls. You'll see there's a range of stuff in here for you to adjust and change. F2 will always bring you back to the screen, or when you're flying, it'll bring you back to your uh, HUD flight mode. So let's talk about F3, the command screen here. This is essentially the map screen. This allows you to see an isometric view of what's going on in the sector that you've currently highlighted. You can scroll in and out with your mouse wheel and you can rotate the view with the keys that you've defaulted to roll. You can get in quite close if you want to have a look here at our Belters Garrison. And you can highlight different sectors by clicking on them on the mini-map, which is down here. So there's Holokine, there's our expansion. And we've got an outpost. And a teleport receiver in the central sector, Kishoten there. To return back to the hangar screen, you can either hit F3 or F2 will back you straight up. Next on the list over here, the ship loadout screen, very important. Shortcut for that is F4. This brings out your the current ship that you've selected. This is the ship that you're launching, this is the ship you're going to fly in. And it shows you what the current loadout for that ship is, including the section up here, the weapons you have selected, missiles you have selected, other equipment like boosters, thrusters, what you've got in your dispenser slots, countermeasures, and then extra cargo that you can load in and out of these slots in flight. You can change these by clicking on them. You get a drop down menu of different systems. These will change depending on what your commander has researched, what tech paths you are. In the event of artificial gravity loss, please grab on to the nearest secure object. So right now the default loadouts are pretty good for most ships with the exception of the scout. We'll do a video on loadouts a little bit later. But I'm gonna tell you this right now. Every time you're flying a scout, you want to make sure you've got one of these, the ER Nanite Cannon. In the event of our uh, this is a repair device, and one of the unique features of the scout is that it can mount this, this gun. Repair friendly vessels. There is virtually no situation when uh, you need this cargo slot for something else other than a Nanite. So we're always going to have that in there. You hit confirm change to uh, confirm the changes that you made in your, in your default loadout. If you want to change the ship that you fly, you can hit this drop down menu here and you'll get a choice of ships that have been researched by your commander. Each faction starts with one or two ships available and then additional ones need to be researched. So we're going to go ahead and confirm our scout and go back to the main hangar. Next screen we'll talk about a little bit is this one up here, Team Investments, or the Command screen. You hit F5, the shortcut for that. This shows you what your commander is researching. This shows you where he's spending his money. And you can see it's broken out by the different tech paths here. So we've got construction of constructors. We've got garrison tech. 
we haven't got a supremacy or a tactical built we have got an expansion so we can see what's in there to be researched and shipyard is the final one if you're the commander or you've uh, come across money in another way you'll be able to invest in technologies here by selecting one hitting the invest key next screen we'll talk about quickly is the team screen shortcut f6 this shows the players on both teams so you can highlight your team and the enemy team it shows you what rank they are, their kills, their deaths, where they were last sighted, what ship they were flying, any money that they have, uh, and it's a pretty useful thing. There are some, some intermediate uses for the screen we'll talk about in another video. In the event of artificial gravity loss, please Finally, another really important screen object. is teleport to another station or change base. The shortcut for that is F8. So this, on the minimap here, you can see this little yellow triangle that shows you the base that you're currently in, as does the bold Distant text on the base list here. You'll see we've got three bases we can change to. If I go ahead and click on the outpost in Casima there, hit transfer or board, you can see that the little icon has switched oh, to this sector. If I want to go ahead and move to the expansion, I'm going to highlight that. I'm going to hit transfer. I've now transferred to the station and I'll launch in that sector if I hit launch. I'm going to go ahead and transport back to our garrison. So we've had a look around inside the hangar, some basic orientation. Let's head out into space. So let's see what we can see on the screen here. I'm going to walk you around the uh, default HUD, which is here. This is all labeled. Gauges tell you what you can see. Thrust is self-explanatory. That's your throttle. Fuel, if you have a uh, booster equipped ship, this will show you how much is left in your current fuel tank. Armor is your hit points. When this gets to zero, your ship has been destroyed. Uh, and the pilot will be ejected and you'll be floating in an escape pod. Shield here, if your ship has shields, um, this gauge shows you the power of those shields. That will decrease as you take damage. That will uh, increase over time um, if you stop taking damage. Ammo for your main weapon. In this case, my GAT gun. Again, that decreases and that can be reloaded. And finally here, energy. Um, for other uh, weapons or ship equipment that, that use energy rather than ammo, when they're in use, that gauge will deplete. In the centre here, we've got a speed gauge. You can see me accelerating there. Shows your speed in metres per second. Underneath, the SIG. We're going to talk about scan range and signature in uh, another video. But this shows you your, your current signature. That's the current signature that your ship is giving off. This number in the circle at the bottom here is your kill bonus. That's a bonus done to the damage of all your weapons um, and that increases every time you get a kill. So what else can we see here? Down here, this is information about your target. So I'm going to go ahead and target our garrison. You get a little picture in the centre which shows you the orientation of the target to you. So if that were an enemy vessel you could see if it were facing you or, or going away from you. The armor hollow hit points of your target, your target speed, your target shield, your target's range. You can also get some of that information up on your HUD. So you've got the name of your target, its range, its shield and its hull, those two little bars underneath. All of that is extremely useful information. You can also see that when we're pointing away from our target, we get this little arrow indicator here, showing us the direction we need to orient ourselves until we're pointing at it. Next, you'll see as I start to move, I've got a little centre dot that shows me where I'm pointing my centre of mass. These two little brackets here show the direction of thrust, show the direction that my ship is actually moving. So I can violently change and there's some lag as my direction of movement catches up to where I'm pointing my nose. So there's a sort of Newtonian flight model in the game, which again we'll talk about when we talk about some basic piloting. But bear in mind that 
those brackets show you where your ship is actually moving the center of the dot here show you where you're pointing your ship okay other important areas of the screen up here we've got the chat you're going to read the chat all the time right you need three eyes to play allegiance two to fly one to read the chat if you're not reading the chat you're doing something wrong down here we've got the minimap this is critical okay you're always going to be one of you looking at what's going on in the minimap what's going on in, in other sectors over here you've got your inventory which shows you the loadout that we saw earlier when we were inside the hangar So finally today to talk about some uh, the user interface, basic user interface stuff. Other options that we can we can use while we're, we're in flight. We can go straight to the command view, hitting F3. It's the same as when we were inside the base, but now we can see ourselves. We can issue ourselves waypoints by right clicking on the map. Pilot engaged. You can issue yourself a waypoint off the plane. This this grid pattern here is the center plane of the sector by holding down the right mouse button, moving the mouse up or down to go above or below the plane. Autopilot engaged. And you can zoom and rotate in the same way. Autopilot if you're crazy for some reason, you can turn your inventory screen off, hitting F4, always leave it on. F5, just as we're in base, brings up the investment screen. F6 brings up the team screen. F7, again, if you're crazy, turns off your minimap. And F8 does nothing. We can't change base while we're out in space. So, there's one more thing to talk about in this short video, and that's the ability to change your HUD style. This is something the dev team has built into the latest releases of the game, um, formerly some mods. And if you want to do that, and there, there are different preferences around which, which HUD you might want to use, you go ahead and hit Escape, go to the Graphics option here, and scroll right down to where it says Style. You can click on that, and your HUD will change. This is the software HUD. A lot of people use this one. I personally don't like it. The one that I tend to use is this one, Custom HUD with Thin Gauges. I find that gives me a good balance of uh, visibility around the HUD area, but still gives me the gauges that I need within my island. So uh, go ahead and take a look at all of those, and find one that you're, you're happy and comfortable with, uh, and good luck to you. So we're going to go ahead and dock here, and then we'll wrap this video up. All right, so quick summary on user interface. F1 brings up the help screen. Use it early, familiarize yourself with the controls. Not all of the controls are mapped. Um, if you hit escape GNC in game, you'll see the full list of controls that are available for you to map. Then remap them from the default to something more comfortable. When you're in the game, before you launch, and every time before you launch, just make sure, just have a little check. Are you in the right base? Do you, are you where you need to be? Are you flying the right ship? Do you have the right loadout? If not, you can hit F8 to change your base, F4 to change your ship and your loadout. And then either in base or out of base, keep, always keep an eye on what's going on around you. Read the chat and hit F3 to bring up the command view. Great, I hope you guys have found this video useful. Um, I've been Southpaw, we'll see you again on the next time.